from match number two with Jason Duran on the left and Paul Fleming on the right. Fleming, the 32-year-old out of Bedford, Texas. Second year on the tour, the reigning PBA Rookie of the Year. A little late to get started on the Pro Tour, but he said when he was 31, he just told his lovely wife, Andrea, it's now or never. Got to make the move after a very good amateur career. Yeah, and uh, last year's Rookie of the Year, uh, Paul definitely knows, definitely has what it takes to compete out on this tour. Oh, yeah. How about that start? First time on television in a singles event was in a doubles event at the National Senior Doubles in Reno, Nevada, back in January. Now, Jason Duran, now does he have to just almost take a step back and say, okay, that's over, because there's probably a lot of adrenaline flowing. Can he get too excited and start overthrowing the ball? Well, you know, I, I think so. I, I think that uh, he has to take a deep breath and really concentrate on this match. You know, he beat Chris Barnes three times now, but this is the next thing again. And he starts out with a perfect strike. Got to stay focused in, in, at, you know, at the job at hand. Take a look here, folks. Notice the hand position, his hands, fingers right underneath the ball. Nice push away. Notice how he opens his hand at the top of the swing, gets it back underneath, closes it up. Great balance and leverage. Eyes never leave the target. You can see the high game of 300, low game 173. Average just a shade over 223 for the week. Ball coming in a little bit high, leaving the 4-7. That ball looked like it was a little left of target, but you know what? Not a bad shot. Now watch this. Two pins to the left of the screen, folks. A ball just, just a little heavy on the head pin. Sometimes you get the pin to go to the wall and come over and trip those out, and sometimes you don't. When it's me, it never happens. <laughs> it happened a couple times. Again, straight hard to spare, no props. Remember, folks, when you shoot spares, throw the ball straight and hard, and never ever run with scissors in your hand. <laughs> I'm going to write that down. And here, here is Paul Fleming, ranked 48th by the PBA. 1991, he was the U.S. Amateur Champion and All-American at the University of Nebraska back in 89 and 90. Oh, yeah. No pressure for Paul Fleming, and he has a great demeanor. And I asked him before, about an hour or so before, I said, you know, you haven't shown any nerves. He said, I had him in the top four match. Now it's just exhaustion. You're grinding your way through this. Look at that ball just kind of can open the, the, those 10 pins there. And, you know, it's really interesting because these guys are, both of them are playing pretty much around the same, same area on the lane. Um, you know, the one thing that you have to watch for during the match is the lane's breaking down. You think you throw a good shot, the ball drifts high, you got to make an adjustment off of that. Oh, yeah. Absolutely perfect. Well, do you think Andrea, his wife, who's up at a ladies' tournament up in Reno, can relax now? He thought she'd be on pins and needles the entire time. Let's take a look at this. Great knee bend. Here's an athlete who's in the gym four times a week, folks. Look at that knee bend, follow through right at the target, and look at that position. And that ball's just perfect. Look, nothing but shrapnel left. Now Jason Duran down by 20. Now we see if he can step up to this. Well, we saw we saw him leave that in the first match. You know that ball was definitely right of target. Now this is the this is the funny or the, not well it's not funny but watch watch with this ball this ball hits the three pin almost right in the face doesn't touch the head pin or the six pin. Mm -hmm. One two four six ten he made it the game before but you know what the frame before that he went high a lot of times that'll influence your next shot. Ooh. Not able to convert, leading the 1 2 4. His first adversity that he has faced early on. Paul Fleming up by 38 pins. Jason Duran's mom can only watch. Jason, deep breath. Forget about that last shot. We, see, we, we saw you do it time and time again this week. Deep breath. 10 in the pit right here. Get back on it. Just like that. A lot of bowling left, but right now, Fleming with a 38-point lead over Duran. We'll be back.
Along with Randy Peterson, I'm Ron Thulin. The number three seed and the number four seed, Jason Duran and Paul Fleming. And right now, Jason Duran finds himself down by 38 pins. Paul Fleming back up on the lanes. Once again, working the right lane, lane 28. The one that had an early hook spot early on. Well, you know what? I think that early hook spot is now further right of the players. The lanes are breaking down. They're moving in. Come on. Get out. Get out. He likes it. And that is four in a row now for Fleming, and he's up by 48 pins. Well, right out of commercial, just kind of ho-hum, just get up there and shred the rack in half. No big deal. Let me ask you this. You, you go to commercial. Normally in match play, they just keep bowling. What's it like to have to sit there and wait when you know you're up? Because you have to do it. Well, it's tough when you're my age. But these guys here, you know, like I said, great shape, great athletes. They sit there and they just kind of mill over what, you know, their game plan. They're, they're trying to focus on their technique. You know, this week, a lot of guys were trying to throw the ball slower. These guys are focusing on the kind of shot that they want to make, visualizing that. This to take a 58 pin lead. Come on, come on, come on. We've had nine 300 games this week at the ABC Masters in Albuquerque. Fleming now still with a long way to go, but he's got five in the books. Jason Duran is in a 58 pin hole. You know, he's got some work to do. Uh, this game is not over by any means, but bottom line, this guy right here, Jason Duran, he needs to start striking. Just not getting it together right now. The young man that grew up just admiring Abletto Monticelli said he used to do imitations of him in his living room for his brother Jacob. Well, Amleto's a, a pretty good, uh, pretty good player to be uh, imitating, but right now. Jason has lost the right lane completely. Shot before that, missed the head pin. This shot almost goes Brooklyn. 